Hello and welcome to the end of the year review for 2022 here on the Waynesburg and Washington Railroad. I decided to start out the video here in the cab of the locomotive as that has been our biggest restoration project for this year. We started the restoration in the cab in May. Uh, the first step was to remove the backhead appliances. That way they can be cleaned. But while they were uh, removed, we were also able to repaint the firebox here. A lot of the uh, different levers and mechanisms. Uh, we also took the opportunity to strip the paint of the cab interior and paint it this more darker and more accurate color green. Uh, while we were at it, we also painted the outside of the cab, which you'll see in a little bit. Uh, so once we repainted and refurbished cosmetically all the appliances, we put them back on a couple weeks before Harvest Festival and then debuted the uh, Restore Cab at Harvest Festival. With all the back end appliances back on the locomotive, we can give a more accurate representation to what number four looked like in service on the Waynesburg and Washington Railroad. The last time it looked like this was in 1985, whenever it last steamed. So it's been nearly 40 years since she looked this complete. Uh, we're very happy with the work. We put over 425 volunteer hours in combined this summer, and that has been our main project of the year. And we are very proud of the volunteer work and our end result. So to really bring the cab interior restoration together, we fabricated and made new seats. Um, the old ones were pretty beat up, and so this really just ties together the whole look of the cab. All right, once again, I am behind the camera to be able to better showcase the cab restoration that was completed. We also did the exterior. The roof was also sanded down and repainted. All the windows uh, were taken off and repainted as well. Here you can see the number four on this side. And on the other side, we have 9684 to represent uh, how she looked during her days when she was lettered Waynesburg, Washington, and whenever she was relettered Pennsylvania. The Plymouth was also repainted over the summer. And as I shift to my left here, you can see this large tank. And this is a part of the uh, setup that we have for being able to blow the whistle on air. Here you can also see the coupler. Uh, whenever we remove uh, this draw bar here, we're able to install the coupler. Uh, you can see the pilot was repainted. And the biggest difference is the front coupler was reinstalled. Uh, again, it is just enhancing the cosmetic uh, look of number four to better represent how she looked in service. All right, we are sitting next to the coach, and as you can see, there is new wood installed on the coach. It's taken many years to get to this point, but we are starting the restoration of the coach with the frame And you can see these one by one uh, pieces have been installed. In between would have been tongue and groove pieces of wood. And above that, some deadening material to help uh, dampen the noise for passengers while riding on the Waynesburg and Washington. Thank you for watching this end of the year uh, review video. Uh, we thank you for all the support uh, you've given us over uh, this year. You can continue following our YouTube page, our Facebook group, and our Instagram page for more updates as the year goes on. We're looking forward to a great 2023, uh, more restoration to come on the coach. We have new wood on site here uh, to begin installation of the end sills and all the uh, other components that go along with the frame. As always, thank you for watching. We really appreciate your viewership and uh, getting to be able to spread the history of the Waynesburg and Washington Railroad. Thanks again.